Hello, everybody. Welcome to ET Live. It is day three of day our three. New York Fashion Week coverage here in studio, bringing you all of the action from the runway, who's in the front row, details of the trends that we're seeing. We're yep. just barreling through. We are, guys. <laughs> There's so, so much. And we've been with you every day at 10 a.m. Pacific. Mm -hmm. And we continue. We will continue to do that for the we're next few days. We're only halfway through. As long as Fashion Week <laughs> continues, we will be here. But we're going to dive right in and get into what we saw starting yesterday at Jonathan Simkai. Mm -hmm. This is a designer that debuted about 10 years ago and has just been churning out beautiful collections ever since then. And he's he was, really known for kind of like his luxury ready to wear for the yes. modern woman, right? Yes. Really wearable, really beautiful clothes and luxurious fabrics. Um, he actually was a recipient of the CFDA fashion fund that helped bring his collections um, to New York Fashion Week. So he's had incredible support from the design community and is a, is a name to watch. I'm noticing here, looking at this runway footage, very minimal, which is what's yes. interesting that he describes his collection as liminal. <laughs> like, how would you, what, what I does love that, that mean? Does it mean lace as it's minimal? Like, what is liminal? He describes it as something that's transitional. Okay. So, you know, something that can take you from season to season okay. and that can really continue to carry over in, within your wardrobe. A lot of like lace, a lot of sheer, a lot of yes. like the bare necessities. Let's get into the looks, yeah. you guys. We picked a few things that really show what the collection's all about. So this beautiful slip dress is topped with a silk trench coat. Again, I love this. We were talking about this yesterday. We're seeing trench coats and fabrics that are not stiff, that are more romantic. Mm -hmm. And I love that. So it's taking the utilitarian trend and making it something really feminine and really pretty. And a perfect transition from summer to fall, especially like right now or spring into fall. Yes. You have two pieces right there. You have I the also, dress and you have the coat. Yeah, and I love when we see collections being shown outside in natural light. Yes, it's we so love natural lighting. Right? <laughs> it's so flattering and so beautiful and romantic. So I love this look. Um, also, sticking with whites, mm -hmm. we're seeing another look from him that's all white. I loved this white lace suit. So if it, now we're really starting to get a feel for what oh, the trends are for this. spring. We're seeing a lot of sheer. We're seeing a lot lace. of lace. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of flat shoes and still, belt bags. Still blazers too. Blazers and mm -hmm. belt bags. Belt bags are sticking around. So I love this look. Uh, it's it's just. Effortless. It's like so she looks comfy. It's also very complimentary to the body as yes. well to have that belt bag right there. Even here, I love this look. Love a good blazer. A lot of pockets here. A lot of pockets. Um, continuing with that utilitarian trend. Yes. And that belt bag not going anywhere, which I'm super excited about because I invested in one. I was so gonna say I've never been well. into the utilitarian trend, but I guess now I'm gonna have to start. <laughs> <laughs> Just little baby steps. Little baby, baby steps. steps. Like a cool blazer with some some cool uh, detailing. And last but not least, this look, which was totally different from the other three. Um, at first, when I saw this coming down the runway, I thought it was velvet. And I was like thinking, hmm, velvet for yeah, spring. But no, tell, I think yeah. it's a rich, rich silk. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, a lot of his other looks have been silk, yes. too. So I would, yeah. I love the wow. color. I love the matching set. It's a very romantic silhouette. Mm -hmm. This is the silhouette of a top that we're going to continue to see. Love it. This long romantic sleeve. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a romantic sleeve today. Oh, look at a you. A long romantic sleeve <laughs> and that, you know, princess kind of like low broke yes. uh, neckline. Love really it. Beautiful. And like seeing all of these looks, you know, I can't help but to think, you know, what is the designer's inspiration right. behind it? Well, lucky for us, we kind of got a look into the mood board for this collection. Board. We love a good mood board because you kind of see, like you mentioned yesterday on the show, you kind of see how all of these looks started from literally just a few photos. You can see or... where the color inspiration yes. came from, just looking at these images. And usually the images have nothing to do with fashion, but mm -hmm. the texture, the color palette, they yeah. all come from that There's your blue. I see your blue yep, right the there. Dark blue <laughs> and all of those like blue whites, and corals yes. and whites and those sage greens. Just yeah. so beautiful. It's so interesting how a photo can end up being the inspiration for a look on the runway. Like just, I mean, I'm not a designer, obviously, but just the transformation process is just mind blowing. It's amazing. I, I love seeing, uh, you know, also besides what's happening on the runway, what's happening backstage, what's mm -hmm. happening in the front row. And there was, there's always so much happening backstage, which I love. So um, much. All the action. I all the action is really backstage. Imagine. Yeah. And then everything is so serene out front. Um, but, actually, but it's chaos. Chaos it's in, in chaos the back backstage. and uh, put together in the front. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it it's, it's also gives you perspective because the models are about six feet tall. And then you see all the like normal sized people like us yeah. who are like <laughs> five foot well, four. Well, it's so funny. The models are such glamazons. I love it. That you mentioned that because literally someone who was sitting in the front row, Caitlin Carter, like she. She's a super yes. tiny, short girl. 
like myself and she was there for all of the action. She looks absolutely gorgeous here. Love the simplicity. Wow, see, jeans are see? on trend absolutely. for New York Fashion Week. I'm wearing them right and now. And Britney Snow was also <laughs> there and she looked super chic. Love it. You know, E.T. has obviously caught up with Jonathan Simkai um, over the years, especially last year at the Runway 2 Red Carpet Luncheon. And here's what he had to say about getting requests to design looks for the Oscars back in 2018. Take a look. Well, we just, I just got back from New York. We just showed uh, during New York Fashion Week, and um, it was an incredible show, a lot of um, excitement, and um, definitely some requests since the show. So we'll see what happens. Is that how it works then? People see the, the stuff at Fashion Week and then say, okay, I, so Oscars could still not be decided at this point. We're only a week right. and a half away. <laughs> There's definitely some things up in the air. Next up, we have the Anna Sui show. It yes. sounds so rich, I can <laughs> barely say it. She's also, a, you know, an American designer who's been showing at New York Fashion Week for so wow. long. So I love that. I love when, when designers become an institution at New York Fashion Week and you can get excited mm -hmm. every season about what to see from her. But what I love, fun fact though for our audience, this is a designer who literally knew at the age of four that she wanted to get into fashion. I mean, like, what were we doing at four years old? You know Just what I mean? Just hanging out watching Sesame Street. But no, <laughs> exactly. not her. Riding a bike, you know, <laughs> playing with chalk. And she's, you know, so this is cool to see full circle moment, you know, all of her looks on the runway. Her looks are so whimsical. Let's start, let's get into some of the, uh, selects we did for you guys. So you can get a peek at what the collection's all about. Really whimsical. I love this. We've seen, we're seeing also a lot of lingerie inspired looks. Mm -hmm. So this is like a little, it looks like a little silk dress, a silk top uh, that's longer and sheer on top of this pant with a matching duster top. Really fun and like playful. I think this look out of everything that we've seen for New York Fashion Week kind of embodies all of the trends that we've seen into one look. You totally. Have, you have the green color. We've seen a lot of green. We have lace and sheer yep. silk lingerie and, and a little a bit of shoe. neon. And neon too. She's wearing yep. a flat like shoe. Like all the trends shoe. in one right there. <laughs> it's all happening. All right, let's check out. Speaking of sheer, let's take a look at this sheer eyelet dress. Uh, we're going to always see eyelet for spring, but I love the twists that every designer is doing on eyelet. So this one is totally sheer with a little short underneath, mm -hmm. a little bralette underneath, and a bucket hat. So we Bucket hats were huge this spring. Yes. People were kind of dipping their toe in the trend. You know, it's not my favorite ah, thing in the no, world. No, I, I might keep it in the past. Right? But <laughs> there it is. There's a bucket hat. So we're going to see those next spring also. And pairing this dress with a comfortable shoe. I if, love it. If New York Fashion Week says it's a trend, it's a trend. And you mentioned shorts. That is exactly what our next uh, look is here. This pink short suit. You know me. I love a good look I love like a suit. this. This is this is my uh, hands down my number one pick from New York Fashion Week so far. And you know what I love is we're seeing so many designers showing suits, and to see mm -hmm. someone like Anna Sui show us a suit, she's gonna show it to us in a playful, really feminine yes. way, which she did here by making it shorts, by making it pink, and by doing it in this really interesting fabric and pairing it with yeah. this playful bag. The bag and the glasses too. Love the sunglasses. Give it like a. Uh, so uh, even uh, an additional pop. Yeah. I even really am digging the hair. It's like undone. I can't do it. So My hair's a little cool. too short for that, but I do we love it. We could do a half top knot. <laughs> we, we could do we it. could figure something out. Well, then you'll see my extensions probably. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I, I just, I can't. <laughs> Last but not least, let's see this beautiful floral caftan situation. This was the finale Ooh. look of the show. And just showing you all the things that is, honestly, Playful, but a little bit bohemian, whimsical. a little bit whimsical. Yes. I just love how easy this collection is. Mm -hmm. Also, please note, she's wearing Tiva-inspired sandals, which love. was a massive trend for this spring. Love. So that's not going away either. So if you really were excited about those um, Tiva sports sandals, yeah. Tiva-inspired sandals, that's st sticking around. I noticed her hair, too. Again, super cute. Obviously, we we just briefly talked about it. But the, the makeup, too. Want to give makeup. a shout-out to the beauty really quick? We got to check this just, out. Absolutely stunning. Okay, everyone is being inspired by, I think, the Euphoria makeup craze. Yes. Because we've seen so many bold looks, mm -hmm. like fresh, clean face, barely anything a on lot the lip, of glitter. but then a lot on the yeah. eye. Well, even you right now, like you I'm, were inspired, I'm inspired. To, You have glitter on your eyes. The first day of our coverage, I did pearls yes. on my eyes. Because like, it's just makeup. And like, why so not have fun with it? And compliment your style with it. I, I love, love it. it. And if you guys have uh, tried some crazy crazy makeup trends or whatnot, let us know. Tweet yeah. us, Instagram us, hashtag all of it. I want to see it. I want to see it because I'm I'm just loving it. I, I yes. love where makeup is headed right now. Yep. And speaking of where things are headed right now, we got to talk about <laughs> Tom Ford. 
because that was a big, big show last night. Take a look. We speak to um, a lot of our viewers in the heartland, just in, in, you know, in regular America, who may not be able to afford couture and, and look at stuff. You don't need to. You what, don't okay, need well then, to what makes all. good style? Oh, good style is learning. Good style is learning what you're about, learning what you feel comfortable in, learning what suits you. You know, just take a mental note when people say, "Wow, you look great today." Wow, you look great today. Wow, you look great today. Or, "Wow, I feel great today. Mm -hmm. I feel great today." And then let that become your style. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. It's feeling good. You know. I shouldn't say forget about fashion magazines because, of course, we're here. Yeah. Fashion magazines are here to tell you what's available. They're not here to dictate to you. Mm -hmm. You know, take all that in and then take the parts of it that mean something to you. Oh, that was Mr. Tom Ford himself talking about his personal style. I mean, obviously, Tom is someone kind of, I feel like, best known for literally turning Gucci into uh, a brand worth billions of dollars. But then, you know, venturing out on his That's own right. and honestly, one of probably the best shows that we've seen during New York Fashion Week so it's, far. They're always so creative and so glamorous. Mm -hmm. uh, so he set his show in the New York City subway. So it was underground. It was a completely different setup from probably you know, hot what we saw a year hell. ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can only imagine. <laughs> and has a very clear visual direction for the show. Uh, really powerful, really strong. We're mm. seeing powerful supermodels on the runway. Yes, he always has Gigi, Kaya, Adid, Gigi and yeah. Kaya walking for him. So let's get into some of our picks from this show. Starting with Gigi Hadid, yes. who you just said. She is wearing this orange skirt right here. Again, we've seen it all week long so far. Burnt orange Bold from the color. runway. Literally to your eyelids, that yes. orange color. I, we're, it's not going anywhere. We're going to see a lot of it soon. Next up, Kaya Gerber, who we've, we haven't seen on too many runways this season, but she's still walking in the shows. And I, I just love this because there's so many things happening here that are so Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. He's always really sexy. His looks are always really sexy and really powerful. Um, I love this blazer so much, and I love this bright green metallic shoe. Mm -hmm. And we were seeing pantyhose a lot. Yes. We're seeing this like sheer black tight that's been paired with really, really short hemlines. We saw it at Ralph Lauren as well. Yeah. I'm into this. I think there's something so elegant about a tan shirt or a blazer or whatnot, especially for like brunettes or dirty blondes. I feel like it's so complimentary to skin tones and then also hair yes. colors. I, it just, it, it's so elegant. It's so rich. It just looks expensive, especially when it's that type of material too. That is one thing about Tom Ford. His clothes always look as expensive <laughs> as they are. Let's take a look at Gigi uh. Hadid walking again in the second look. So we were seeing a ton of crop tops at the second mm -hmm. half of the show, um, especially like these. It, it's like this I can't even tell what the fabric is. It looks like it was liquid poured over her, and it's like perfectly molded to her body. It looks like wax almost. It's like amazing, or like perfect. latex. Yeah. I'm in that color, dying too. to know what it is. It's so rich. It's I keep really saying the cool. word rich, but like that's what it looks but like. You know what? When I think of Tom Ford, like that's what, what you think, think of. Like, Expensive and mm -hmm. rich looking, and th this looks amazing. Also, he has menswear and men walking in his shows, and like we've been talking about, these looks can translate to men or women. Yeah. I loved this one because it was the perfect blend of androgyny. It's a pink cheetah yes, blazer, a perfect I cut wear blazer it. with a all white look underneath. Mm -hmm. And one thing, like I notice when I think of when I look at all of these, you know, designs, is where the hell did the inspiration come from? At all and the you, time. You mentioned that it kind of like took place underground, and a lot of New York themes throughout it. Um, some of the the actual looks that Tom said that he drew inspiration from were literally a shot of uh, Andy Warhol and Edie Sedgwick coming out of a manhole. Yes, uh, that one back on the top in the left 60s there in New York. Another one you see of the subway set in Paris, the Metro. I mean, a lot of those type of vibes, which is so you know, interesting. One thing about when you attend a fashion show is when you sit down um, on the bench or on whatever the seating is, there are show notes. Mm -hmm. So it's literally a note from the designer ex explaining what they are inspired yeah. by. Um, and that's where that's where he noted all of these things in his I show notes. I wouldn't know. I've never sat front <laughs> row at a Fashion Week show, Marissa. <laughs> One Maybe day, next year. Season. Maybe next year. Tom Ford, if you're watching. <laughs> Let's take a, a look call. at some of the makeup looks because I also loved what he was doing with the hair and makeup. He mm -hmm. was going along with that punk theme that, was, yeah. that he was very inspired by, and he gave a lot of the models this faux mohawk situation. Um, and 
you, the makeup was actually really beautiful. So it was a deeper eye, but instead of being like a full black smoky eye, it was a little bronzy, mm -hmm. it was a little softer. Love so he was like softening dewy, that punk dewy vibe. natural makeup too. Yes. I, I'm noticing. Obviously there's smoky eyes there, but like this when it comes to the fresh skin, skin. Yes, we love fresh skin. Yes. You know, I'm really done with this like mask of makeup and the overly contoured situation. I love that everyone's letting their skin show. So through. sorry. So no, sorry. girl, I love a, I love a good through. contour, but we got a good glow right here, that natural dewy look. Someone who pulls off when when I, we talk about dewy skin and natural look is Miley Cyrus. Yes. And she actually was sitting front she row at the so Tom Ford cool show. Night. She, oh, she is having a year this She looks woman. awesome. She looks awesome. She looks so awesome at the VMAs. I love her, yes. like, pared down, kind of all black, really, mm -hmm. like, she looks like she's just kind of dropped into herself. Like, her and personal style is just solidified into who she is. She's wearing all Tom Ford, obviously, here. Um, a long, velvet, military style coat. I love the sunglasses at night. I'm not even mad at it here. <laughs> I think she looks cool. I literally, it's so funny you just said, I think she looks cool. Honest to God, I'm not kidding you. I know we're like co-hosting together and like our wavelengths <laughs> are the same, but literally the one word in my mind that I was thinking of describing this is cool. She just looks literally cool. like a Jonas Brothers song. Cool. <laughs> she just looks cool. Uh, yes. Well, someone else who looks cool is uh, Ansel Elgord, who was also there at the Tom Ford show. Literally, I guess, sunglasses. Sunglasses. It's a thing. Why not? <laughs> Rocking some sunglasses at night, wearing a head to toe Tom Ford look as well, a beautifully cut suit. Let's take a look at the front row because there's always going to be amazing people we sitting there. We have Miley, we have Jones, Ansel. Uh, Joan Smalls, Russell Westbrook, Amber Valletta. This is a this is a pretty dope front row. This right is here. a powerhouse <laughs> front row, I will say. And it looks like an editorial shoot. It looks like they're posing to look like they're not posing, but this is just them living their lives Candid. in school. And next year, you know, <laughs> there'll be a, an extra two chairs on the and side. And on either side. For Marissa and I. <laughs> uh, you guys, Tom Ford has dressed so many celebrities throughout the years on carpets at events. He is definitely a celebrity favorite which you'll see in this video right here. <laughs> I'm wearing Tom Ford tonight. At Tom Ford. Yeah. I'm wearing Tom Ford. It feels like every single star in Hollywood you have dressed. I think I probably have. Yeah. Uh, maybe some of the newer ones. Uh, although I'm starting to dress them too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have been very, very lucky and very fortunate. And uh, uh, I have dressed some wonderful people and I'm very happy for that and, and proud of the things that uh, they've worn. Ooh, next up in our New York Fashion Week coverage, Kyle Richards. It's not New York Fashion Week. If without, the housewives don't show if, up. Without <laughs> the housewives. That is literally, I've never heard a, a more true statement. So I this mean, they're is, always there. This is Kyle Richards' first ever fashion show for her new brand, Kyle and Shahida, which is co-designed by Shahida Clayton. And, of course, I mean, it. it she featured, had all her besties. Walking the runway for her. Literally, you, right there. You can see. ET uh, was there backstage <laughs> chatting with Kyle and just taking a look at all, everything that was going down. There was a lot happening back there. Mm -hmm. They were like having a great time, but also like trying to get ready. There was some nerves yeah. happening. But we'll, we'll let them explain it to you guys. Well, it's important for this. Well, first off, I love this family. Okay, they've been nothing but kind to me. And it's Kyle's first fashion show, and we're here to support her. It's Fashion Week. Come on. The supermodel in my head is really excited. This person here, who knows? But the supermodel that lives in here, happy. Well, they're all here, and walking is Dorit Kemsley, Erica Girardi, Lisa Rinna, Denise Richards, Teddy Mellencamp, um... N not me. <laughs> I'm, coming out the I'm coming out the end. I'm coming out the end. My friend Faye Resnick is walking. Yeah. Um, my nieces are here, Paris and Nikki. Um, my nephew Baron's supposed to be here. His wife Tessa. So it's nice to have. Oh, I have so many friends fly, fly in from Los Angeles. It's just amazing to have the support. Full house for Kyle Richards. I love show it. Right there. And it, it literally, I feel like she is us when trying to name all the housewives. Right. It's so hard There's so to get all of them. of them and to get them down. But lucky for us, they did walk the runway in the show, beginning Let's take with a look. Denise Richards, you guys. Absolutely a smoke show I love right that here. She's smiling. And they were like hooting and hollering and clapping for each other. I it mean, was have really you fun. seen uh, Lisa Rinna on right? top of a table before? <laughs> it's a hooting and hollering type of event Speaking right of here. Lisa so let's take a look at Lisa because she was owning it. Hi, oh, Lisa. Yes. Okay, mama. Okay. 
legs for days. Right? Yes. Look at this. She was practicing. Look wow. At this. She's a little look back. Love situation. this little <laughs> silk bodysuit paired with like that signature caftan robe of, you know, Kyle Richards. Love so it. So cool. Next up, you guys, Erica Jane making the runway just her. This is, her, this is like her hallway floor at home. She's right? Just She's like, I'm owning it here. here. In this brightly colored top and red pants. This is very Erica Jane, too. Like, this is like very, um, this embodies like I feel like her own personal style too. Yes. Especially that pop of color. They all red. look very comfortable in their looks. Yes. I feel like, you know, a model is there to, to model and to just embody the clothes. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Kyle was really paid attention to which lady she right. was dressing in which look. In which look, exactly. Which look to have we're going to rock. Let's take a look at Dorit. Oh, one of my absolute favorites. See, this, I again, love this, pant. this is perfectly symbolic of Dorit's I personal style. Pants. We can always see Dorit rocking like a blazer, a power suit, mm -hmm. something su that's such a statement. She's always, she has such a great body too. And I love these high-waisted like, leather red pants. And then for someone like Dorit, like that sequin crop top right there, so straight cute. across, showing off that cleavage. Like this is, <laughs> this is perfect for Dorit. Oh my God, this is fabulous. And that ponytail, yes. And last but not least, Teddy Mellencamp. Love. Also rocking no pants and a kimono. Love, love, I love, love. it. She is absolutely stunning right here. Ah, oh, love all the housewives showing up for their their good friend Kyle and, and supporting then, her. Speaking of Kyle, here she is stepping out, wiping oh, tears wiping away. Tears. Oh, that's such a cute moment. So cute. Obviously overcome with emotion. I love that look too. I hope to God that's one of her own. You know, like the designer skin. usually wear their love own. Love it. Yeah. Collection. So <laughs> that's gotta think. be one of them. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of support from her housewives there, too, but also her nieces, her nieces. Paris and Nikki. I always forget that they are related. You know, it's a small world in Power Beverly Hills, House a family. small town. <laughs> well, E.T. actually caught up with Paris Hilton backstage, who was oh so proud of her Auntie Kyle. I'm so proud of my Aunt Kyle. To have her first fashion show at New York Fashion Week is incredible, and I cannot wait to see all the designs. I'm backstage right now, everything looks beautiful. So I'm gonna have a new wardrobe after this. Doing a spring collection is something we really enjoy. I think it is definitely a collection that comes very naturally to us. I love to draw from something that is from a memory or our lifestyle, something personal. It just helps when you're doing a show with a collection. Oh, it is time to break down the Zimmerman fashion show, a part of New York Fashion Week. I mean, I love these uh, designers. I love this collection. They're Australian sisters, and they have really just blown up mm -hmm. over the last few years. And I feel like there's something very close to, uh, with the Australian aesthetic and mm -hmm. the like California vibe. Yes, there's like a surf culture and and the same kind of vibe. So the, yeah. the clothes feel feel almost like a California. I mean, inspired which line. is probably one of the reasons why they have attracted the love of a lot of celebrities. You know, j obviously they just opened a, a boutique in New York not too long ago, mm -hmm. but that even drew celebrities like Katie Holmes, Nikki Hilton, big fans of the brand. And I think again, it's because it kind of has that like California aesthetic that you mentioned. It's you can't super escape California. Pretty. You really can't. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of these looks because they were inspired by a '60s surf documentary, and you can absolutely see that inspiration in all of these pieces. So we're seeing a bold sleeve again. I love this mini dress. Mm -hmm. It's a fun take on lace to have the red underneath. This is one of their more polished, sexy looks. A lot of looks are super effortless, and they even managed to make a, a mini dress with this mm -hmm. really bold sleeve look effortless. God, you are so on trend. You've got your bold sleeve got today, bold too, sleeve. and your print. I'm trying. I'm turning <laughs> it out for New York Fashion Week. We're surrounded by fashion. Uh, you next look, it. you guys, a scarf print look here. I love uh, this. Love this color. This I blue. love this color situation, and I, I, I've watched this look walk a few times. And at first I thought it was a skirt, and I'm like, nope, nope, those look like some really cool billowy pants. This makes me want to go on vacation stat. Grab yes. my passport, we're going to Capri, we're going to the Amalfi Coast. Absolutely. Like, this look is, this is, you know what, to be honest with you, I could see a Kris Jenner rocking this on her yacht. With, oh my gosh, you know, 100%, friends, 100%. That is spot on. Yeah. <laughs> Not me, but Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner. <laughs> so, speaking of eyelet, this is the trend that won't go away for spring 2020. We are seeing so many designers do their take on white eyelet. I love Zimmerman's take on it. It's really architectural, super feminine. You almost can't tell what's going on here. It's like there's a high neck, there's a ruffle on the shoulder, there's love a ruffle. It. 
uh, at the waist. I love it. I love how it moves. Ruffles, wow. Ruffles, what look at you in ruffles. So, so on trend. trendy in my red <laughs> ruffles, you guys. Oh, One more for you guys. Of red and eyelet, all of it. Then our last look for I you guys. I love this. So this is how Zimmerman does a gown. It's like, you know, you're going to show your finale look or one of your finale looks. It's going to be a gown. You have to show what is your personality as a designer mm -hmm. in a gown. And they are going to take all of those bohemian references and effortless yes. vibes and make it a gown. This is like the most wearable gown I've ever seen. I love this. This is this me. This me. No, no more Kris Jenner. I'm going to say this one is me. Yes. I would love to rock this. Oh, you guys, speaking of rocking New York Fashion Week, we can't talk about NYFW without talking about Nicki Minaj. No, no brawls with Cardi B no. this time around. We that, were was talking, that was one year ago. That was last <laughs> year around this time where a shoe might have been thrown. But uh, during Fashion Week is a great time for anybody in the fashion industry to start making big announcements. So Nicki, Nicki Minaj, Minaj made a big announcement that she is partnering with Fendi on a collaboration. Mm -hmm. And I love this pairing. Love it love so it. much. She has, I mean, here's the thing. She has been rocking uh, Fendi for a while now. And this is like kind of a full circle moment for her. She tweeted, said, don't you ever doubt yourself. If anyone would have told me as a little girl from Trinidad that grew up poor, that one day my face would be on a piece of Fendi clothing, I would have laughed. Your support <laughs> for Chun-Li led to this, a song I made up off the top of my head as a joke. Look at that. I love How this. How things have turned out for her. She's referring to a lyric from one of her songs that has kind of been the inspiration for this Fendi collection, which is super cool. I love how much the fashion industry has embraced the music industry because mm -hmm. they really go hand in hand. You need those powerful people to be the face and the front of your brand, and they need to look amazing. 100%. So the marriage of these two things, I just, I love it. And I mean, like I said, she's in someone who has been rocking Fendi throughout her careers, and I feel like Fendi is a perfect brand to embody her personality and her totally. own personal style and uh, here's some photos that we're seeing from Instagram of her teasing the collaboration I love it and the collab will be available October 14th so we have about a month before we actually can purchase any of these things oh, they make us wait <laughs> and in select boutiques they make us wait but you know what they say good things worth the wait. are worth the wait worth right? the wait and so I bet this is gonna sell out like crazy Oh, a hundred percent. Collabs always are the first thing to just A hundred percent. You know the barbs are going to be out with their credit cards, <laughs> swiping and getting that entire Fendi Nicki Minaj collection. Yep. But you know what? Before we wrap on our New York Fashion Week coverage, you guys, we have to share this little social media gem yeah, that I you love found. This. I found this yesterday. I follow Editor-in-Chief of InStyle Magazine, Laura Brown, and she's so funny. You guys have to follow her. And she was obviously running to and from fashion shows all week, and she was super, super late to one. And so she posted this and said, <laughs> when you're late AF, this is reassuring. If you guys don't recognize this woman from the back, then, then we're not doing our jobs. This is yeah. Anna Wintour, <laughs> editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine, American Vogue magazine, and she's just sauntering. Just no, no handbag, nothing, just sauntering into a fashion show. So you know if, you know the show hasn't started Until she's Anna, not there. Exactly. And, I mean, she has been busy during New York Fashion Week. Obviously, this is probably one of the you know, most anticipated weeks of the year for her, obviously, aside from Met Gala. I mean, she was literally at the U.S. Open sitting with Meghan Markle. I know. Walking I was in like, all did she these, teleport? Not walking in all of these fashion shows. I mean, literally walking in to the fashion show. To sit show, in the front row. To sit in the front row. But, again, the most iconic iconic bob of all time. Right I love there, it. Miss I love Anna it so Wintour. much. So now we can imagine that that's what's happening <laughs> right now in New York City. So guys, <sighs> stick with us. We're going to continue bringing you all of the mm -hmm. latest from New York Fashion Week for the next two days. There's still a yes. lot of great shows to look forward to. Got and of course, if you miss anything, Mark you guys, Jacob. also on etonline.com. ET Live is 24-7. Like Marissa said, there's so much more action. You said Michael Kors. Who else do we Michael have Michael Kors, Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs. Okay. Fendi. Oh, yeah, Fendi, Fendi Savage. Fendi. Oh, Fenty, Fenty, not Fendi. Sorry. Rihanna's coming. <laughs>